When trying to get the most FPS out of your PC, one thing that is very common is to say, get a custom Windows or optimize your Windows. But how much does it really help your FPS? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here, and today we will be testing and seeing do Windows optimizations really help your FPS? So to start off, what are Windows optimizations? So there are things you can do to your OS to basically remove the amount Windows is doing in the background such as checking for updates, maybe some bloatware such as, or pre-installed apps such as the Microsoft Store, all these basic Microsoft apps that are pinging back to Microsoft using your CPU, using more RAM, and taking overall performance away from your game. The point of Windows optimizations as well is to allow Microsoft not to see as much about your PC, so they're going to be limiting tracking as well as giving more resources back to you to put towards your game, allowing hypothetically for more actual FPS in games. Most gamers just typically install Windows 11, click games, but hardcore gamers who want really high FPS or want that competitive advantage are used to installing custom OSs. So I installed three custom OSs in a stock Windows version and tested to see what really is the best. So the Windows versions used was a Windows 11 stock fully updated, everything was stock, signed in with a Microsoft account, did all that stuff. One caveat, I did disable TPM and Secure Boot just because I didn't want to have to enable it in my BIOS. Does not affect performance at all. Next up, I did what's called a Windows 11 Chamber install, which is stock Windows 11, but I have done a lot of things such as disabling updates, also setting up all my settings, registry keys, all that stuff. So still pretty optimized, but you have the full options of a normal Windows install to you. Next up, I did a Windows 11 and Windows 10 stripped os the current versions of windows 11 at the time of filming just removing all the included apps removing updates everything that you might think of in an install was gone just the basic basically just install a game and play it see how much fps you get but obviously to see if we got it but obviously to see how much fps or if this really helped we tested with some games and we tested a variety to start off we used modern warfare 2 we use the inbuilt benchmark at all low settings Fortnite all low DirectX 12 using a in-game replay so that we got consistent results using the same scenario. Next up, CSGO, we use the built-in workshop benchmark looking at average FPS. CSGO is really high FPS all the way, so that's just kind of why we can see it if there really is a difference at all. Next up, we have Rainbow Six using Vulkan to, to change the API, not using DirectX 12, all low settings with the built-in benchmark. And lastly, we have Cyberpunk 2077 using Ultra RTX, trying to see what really, how does this affect the GPU at all? So ray tracing, that does also affect the CPU a little bit at, with the built-in benchmark. All these benchmarks were at 1080p, by the way, that's what resolution I was using today on my monitor. The specs are my 13900K fully overclocked 7800 MHz DDR5 and my RTX 4090 fully maxed out. I did make sure all overclocks were the exact same for all four OSs so that we don't get any variance at all just by frequency. If you're interested in getting FPS like you're about to see in these benchmarks, hit the link down below, check out my service. I will make sure that you get the most FPS out of your PC. But now let's get on to the benchmarks. Starting off with the benchmarks, we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Once again, this was with the built-in benchmark. And as you can see, the stock Windows 11 really does just suck here. We're losing by 20 FPS here against any other OS customized. We're losing once again by about... 15 FPS in the lows. This really is not a win here for any of the other OSs, but it definitely is a loss for Windows 11 stock. Average FPS is the same for the other three OSs. You get a slight boost in 0.1% against the other two with Windows 10 by 4 FPS. Nothing really massive there at 300 FPS, but Maybe that is a little different, but I will say that these three all are a tie besides Windows 11 stock. Here we have Fortnite and Windows 10 blows every other OS out of the water. This was run with three runs, by the way. Every single run was consistent with this. So Windows 10 definitely is winning here. You're winning by 40 FPS in lows here. That's absolutely insane. Windows 11 stock is once again losing. The two Windows 11s are tied basically so seeing that a fully stripped windows 11 and just a windows 11 with certain settings changed are basically tied or the same i'd honestly be fine losing a couple fps to have the microsoft store because at times it is really nice to have just some apps installed such as like xbox game pass still working so for this windows 10 does win windows 11 the two windows 11s that are customized basically a tie 
Next up, we have CSGO, and the lowest FPS here in the average is 831 FPS. So these results are all basically irrelevant, but boom, we can see here, Windows 11 actually comes out with a win here. I have, no, I believe it might be because of the updated e-core scheduler or just CPU scheduler that comes with Windows 11 that's slightly better for these 13th gen and 12th gen Intel CPUs. Look though, 918 and 980 FPS, you're not gonna notice the difference between these, but Windows 11 does show its strengths here besides Windows 11 stock losing to Windows 10. But this doesn't really matter. It's all insanely high FPS. If you can't hit your shots with this, I'm disappointed in you. Next up, we have Rainbow Six Siege. This was using the Vulkan API. This does give the higher FPS for me as well, but average F max FPS for all of these is above 1,000. Average FPS is above 1,000 for Windows, for the customized Windows versions with Windows 10 coming in with a win here. Min FPS, as you can see with Windows 10, is about 50 FPS higher than Windows 11, so that definitely is a good improvement. Getting about 70 more FPS in the average FPS, that is definitely, you're gonna notice a difference between these. In game, there might not be as massive of a difference, obviously you're not gonna be noticing 70 FPS higher, but it will be slightly higher. So for Rainbow Six Siege, just stick on a Windows 10 OS. Finishing off all the benchmarks with Cyberpunk 2077, fully maxed out, fully RTX, GP bound, all that stuff. And shockingly, the Windows 11 stock, Windows 11 chamber, and Windows 10 stripped all come in basically at the same with Windows 11 stock actually having the best minimum FPS out of them all. I cannot explain this, but Windows 11 stripped absolutely sucked in this benchmark. This was repeatable. I could get every result the same. I use the exact same settings using that Ultra RTX preset. You can test it if you want as well. 1080p obviously, and this had the absolute worst FPS. I don't know if something was stripped out in the Windows 11 that ruined RTX performance, but I can't explain it. With these Windows 11, with the other two Windows 11s and Windows 10, you're getting a bit about the same FPS. But also with a game like this that's single player, you can turn on G-Sync and then any weird or low FPS that you might experience does get kind of hidden through the G-Sync. Well, there you have it. That is the truth about Windows optimizations. Do they help? Yes, they do. My opinion, what I'm going to recommend for a lot of people is just use Windows 10. You still like Windows 10? Go ahead. Feel free to stay on a latest version of Windows 10, set some custom tweaks, and you're all good. If you want to use Windows 11, feel free to go ahead. It does have some good features such as Auto HDR, which is a very nice feature. If you're interested in checking out the OSs that I actually used and testing for yourself, feel free to join my Discord down below. I have the Windows 11 Chamber install and the Windows 10 Stripped install, both available for anyone to download and use. So if you're interested in getting a little more performance for free just by reinstalling your Windows, feel free to go ahead and join the Discord. You can also join the community down there and you can also become a Discord member, supporting me and supporting the channel, allowing me to purchase more hardware to test, see what gets the most FPS. But if you guys have enjoyed, hit that like button down below, subscribe if you guys are new. See you guys later. Peace.